officially cast the role of John Ambrose of To All the Boys I Love Before sequel, we'll tell you who it is and why Peter Kavinsky should be nervous about it. I'm Kelsey Banis and you're watching The Daily Report. Most of us cannot stop thinking about the To All the Boys I've Loved Before sequel, especially me. After the wildly successful first film aired on Netflix back in August, it quickly became one of the most rewatched films on the streaming service. And all of us have been wondering, when the hell is the sequel coming out? Well, there's no set date yet, but we do know that they just started filming. So it's basically all happening. And our favorite stars have not been quiet about their excitement for returning to set. After all, it was on Lana Condor's Instagram the sequel was announced via a cute video where she and Noah Centineo shared an adorable phone call. And now, they're giving us more. As last weekend, Noah tweeted, quote, TATV2, here we come. To which Lana replied, I can't wait to see ya. Oh, uh, we can't wait too. We got a little taste of Lara Jean and Peter back together when Lana and Noah reunited at the Kids' Choice Awards this past weekend. Reunited as in like they walked the red carpet together. Later that evening, both hugged after Noah won the Favorite Male Actor Award for playing Peter. But the best part, hands down, was when Lana presented him with the orange blimp. <laughs> Friendship goals. So what else should we expect from the sequel? Well, we know that Everyone is returning. We're getting the whole Covey family back, in fact. Also, the film will test our precious Lara Jean and Peter's relationship, and it might be hard to watch. Director Susan Johnson told ET back in August, quote, we're so invested in Peter and Lara Jean that seeing them go through struggles is going to be hard, but also something everybody can relate to. The next shiny face comes in and you're like, oh shoot, this guy's really nice too, what do I do? And the shiny face who comes in between Lara Jean and Peter, none other than the character of John Ambrose. John met Lara Jean at Model UN and was the last to receive the love letters that were sent out by Lara Jean's sister. But who's gonna play John? That's the big question. Who dares to step up against Noah? In true TATB fashion, a video was released announcing the casting yesterday. In the video, Lana announces she's on set and has some exciting news. That's when she turns to a trailer door labeled John Ambrose and knocks. A man we cannot see opens the door. They both express their excitement to work on the film, and that's when it's revealed in a very dramatic fashion. That Jordan Fisher is playing John Ambrose. How's no one else excited as much as I am? <laughs> there you go. Jordan tweeted out the video himself writing, P.S. I'm John Ambrose McLaren. Look out, LJ. Oh! He later went on to tweet, I'm losing my mind. My heart is so full. Let us know up in our poll what you guys are most excited for about this sequel. Now, Jordan is also known to livestream gaming or just chatting on Twitch. And when one fan suggested he livestream the first film, he responded, this is a good idea. Not tonight, but soon. Would y'all be down? Um, yes, please, now, me, hello, down. If you're unfamiliar with this sweet soul, Jordan is a Disney Channel alum who you may have seen as Mark in Rent Live, Grease Live, or that time he won Dancing with the Stars season 25. <laughs> Very accomplished. We're not saying that the sequel has to be a musical, but obviously you have the talent if you want to go in that direction. Just saying, Netflix. So will he be a match for Peter Kavinsky and ultimately the internet's boyfriend Noah Centineo? We'll see. But if you're mad about it, you can definitely catch Noah as the romantic lead in two other Netflix films, one of which you can watch now and another coming out in two weeks called The Perfect Date. In this film, Noah's character can't afford the car, the school, or the girl. In order to get the life he wants, he starts a chaperone service for girls where they can pick out his personality, what they want to do for the night, and basically pay him to be the perfect date. And it looks like one of our favorites, Camila Mendez, also stars in this film as the woman of Noah's dreams. And honestly, we get it. But if watching Noah as a romantic lead is getting boring for you and not really satisfying your Noah desires, well, how about Noah as a superhero? Entertainment Weekly reported last week Noah is in talks to play He-Man in the upcoming Masters of the Universe movie, a film based off of the 1980s cartoon and toys and who's mostly shirtless, so <laughs> sign me up. But we can't imagine Noah in that blonde bob. I can't, no. But shirtless? But shirtless. I'm still gonna watch it, obviously. We're definitely excited for the sequel and cannot wait to see all the actors from To All The Boys skyrocket into fame. But we want to know what you think. Are you excited to see Jordan as John? Let us know in the comments below and thank you all so much for subscribing to our new Awesomeness TV Daily Report channel. I'm Kelsey Banis and how excited are you for the sequel? Like, it's gonna be amazing.